basket. It's coming along pretty good. A lot of hard work, been out here for, I don't know, it's like my third day out here. Jacked up the first one, so I was like, well, crap. So I redid it. I wanted to go smaller, but I made the hole too big. So now it's 23 inches. Well, when I cut this, it'll be 23 inches. It'd be a little smaller. I didn't want no 38 inches wide, so I was like, I'll just go 23. Get all bottom number. So the hole is pretty much big, anyways. Yep. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I didn't realize my battery died. I'm just working along. But didn't really get that far. I kind of noticed it after a minute. Didn't even hear the thing beep or anything, but didn't get it that far. But man, this thing is, this stance on this truck's gonna look absolutely amazing. I did get a new front grill. Got a little gap right here, but I gotta fix that. Basically got a new grill, new horns. Basically, I'm trying to get the truck street legal. I'm pretty much almost there. I got a couple more things. I still gotta do the exhaust. And I live in a place you gotta have a catalytic converter, which sucks. It is what it is. But all the lights work. Lights work, side markers work, rear tail lights work. Basically, these are brand new. Bought some new ones just for the heck of it. I drove down the road the other day, and man, look at all this right here. That is a lot of play. The tire don't even move yet. I don't know if you can see this. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of play. It's in this ball joint right here, I think. It's, it's something on the lower tie rod end. I don't know what it is. But even that, the horn works. You just gotta turn it in a certain spot. Sometimes it works. It's like, see? I still gotta work the bug out of that. Like it's, it's a little spring right here. That pushes against this and there's like a ring right here and it rides against it well a little story about that i was working on that i finally figured it out started to make it work and some reason my uh blankers my hazards would work like like my hazards would work and then my turn signal see how it's going slow now because i got a brand new relay but this thing was like hyper flashing like crazy it's like what is going on? I did something right here on the horn and my relay just went crazy over it. It's like, huh, okay. Bought me a new relay that fixed the problem. Turn all these lights off real quick. And now it works. Now I just got a little couple things I gotta do. I still gotta do the exhaust. Uh, get a new tie rod in, I guess. I don't know, figure out where all that plate's coming from. Just pretty much a little update on the truck. Just trying to get it street legal. I'm ready to get this thing on the road. I'm pretty excited about it. I did get the brakes finished. I'll tell you something. I drove down the road with the steering like that. And man, I tried to hit the brakes. This thing didn't want to stop really. I mean, it'll stop. But it did not want to stop like it was supposed to. And I was like, wow. Time to come to find out. I think it was the right passenger side rear... Uh, wheel cylinder or whatever you call that little thing it was leaking all over the place so took those apart put two put two brand new ones in the back and now it's good to go now i got brakes better than it was had everything sitting in the back of the tailgate and i slammed on the brakes all oh, i crap went in the front so or in the front of the truck or you know from the bed to the front it, it stops it stops that's the best part i'd rather have brakes than no brakes Done that plenty of times on go-karts. It's not the fun thing when you run into a fence. You wanted to get brakes after that. But either that, this carburetor, I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm just, I'm done with it. I basically uh, got it warmed up in here, idled it down where it needed to be, took it down the road. By the time I got to this stop sign down there, it idled back up high again. I was like, okay, I got the screwdriver. I tuned it back down, or idled it back down. Went all the way around the block, went all the way back down here, and did it again. I'm like, really? 
And eventually, it'll idle, it'll idle smooth, and then it'll, it'll sit there for a minute, and then it'll just die. I don't know what's wrong with this carburetor. It's missing all kinds of stuff on it because the person that had it previously, I don't know what they did to it, but it is what it is. I'm basically going to take a trip to uh, Summit Racing, and I'm going to go get a Holly Sniper EFI. Basically, it's going to be... I don't get how they do it. It's like, I don't, it's fuel injected somehow. Just look them up. They're pretty cool looking. It self tunes it and all that. It's like 1500 bucks. But 1500 bucks, and I don't got this problem no more. Maybe a computer problem, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully that never happens to me. But that's pretty much the uh, update on this truck. Just trying to get it street legal. Fix, tweaking out a couple more things. And hopefully. Hopefully by next year, hopefully, I'm gonna to try to get it done before February. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna drop this. Cause I got really big things coming for the Camaro. Basically getting the safe three cam, heads, uh, course exhaust. I'm, I'm gonna go all out in the Camaro. $900 car payment. Ouch. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. You basically wanna get something that's reliable. That's gonna give me an A to B. So something does have the Camaro. I got something reliable. You gotta think ahead. That's what I'm doing. But till next time, I'll probably see y'all in some racing. Going to pick up uh, the Holly Sniper e EFI. So stay tuned.